Now look a little bit at the organizational aspects of big data. And of course, Spotify and Bob.com can tell you far more about the technical side. And uh, please uh, interview them. If you look at our work, it started with digitalization, integration, and then personalization, real-time, and predictive. And don't forget, there are still companies, municipals, for instance, who didn't digitize their information, still on paper. Yes, it's true. And then you cannot make use of big data. Online games is a big data issue. Shinga has about 100 petabytes in gaming behavior. So they know when to give you a gaming advice. They can influence your behavior. They have perfect recommendation engines. But also telecom. In telecom, you see that your network behavior and your user behavior is sometimes the same thing. How, you, how the network uses or how you use the network, your calling patterns is as good as your fingerprint. So from the calling patterns, you, they know who you are. Same thing, digitalization, integration and personalization, that's where they're going. Agri-food, same thing. You see in dairy farming that, in, uh, that they precisely know what a cow needs in all the details. But you see it also in smart dairy farming on the land. Like uh, John Deere, who knows exactly on which time, which soil, which uh, fertilizer is needed and what amount on the square meter detail. And also education, that's learning analytics. This massive online courses gives us all the possibility to do self-service, influence your behavior and more involvement, and monetize, monetize your behavior as a student. If you look at social, the big wave fear, social anxiety, is a race against the machine. There are now techniques that put in threat the knowledge worker. The discussion in Holland now about robotics is about the same thing. The other thing is end of privacy. If you look from a technical point of view, it's very difficult to analyze data, or nearly impossible. So we have to find other solutions if we want to protect our privacy. And even privacy is a very difficult definition. Because privacy is something personally and timely. If I'm abroad, I think differently about privacy than I'm at home. If I'm uh, here, I feel different about privacy than, for instance, at a special conference. And the other thing, IT systems at Drift, you, you see now automatic date searching and interpre interpreting agents who go about on the whole network, analyze the, the data and act on it. That's feasible right now. And you saw it already in banking systems. You see it already in selling advertisements, automatic trading systems, and you will get it all over the place. And you have to understand that you are not in control. And we have to live with it and have to deal with it. And I'm most afraid of people who say they do. Because a lot of the times we are not in control, and that's not a bad thing. But if you think you're in control, you're really in the danger zone. Of course, the hyper promise is that you are as good as Alibaba or Amazon or Uber or Google, who do a very good thing. They own the transaction. They don't really own the hotel or the car or whatever, but they own the transaction. And with the owning the transaction, they own the data. And with the data, they are very strong, probably the strongest. And the thing is, I'm either a platform or a niche. 
And the question of a company is, I am the niche or I am, or I am the platform. If you look at the marketplace, especially in Europe, it's shifting a little bit in the United States or in China, you see the bigger corporates have their big data teams, they have their data scientists, 10 or 25 people doing their thing. And, you, and beneath it on, on, uh, are a lot of smaller companies who are big data startups, mostly advising the large corporation again. And of course, the field beneath it, between these two, is one to be developed. And that's also your opportunity to find work because they want to enter this big data arena. And that can be a chain of bakeries. That can be a middle-sized accountancy bureau who needs you to help them to go data-driven. What are typical revenue models? Freemium, that means free and premium. You see LinkedIn at first, the, the basic service you get for free, and if you want more, you have to pay. Advertisement, subscription, users fee, licenses, commission fees are the typical uh, way data ecosystems earn its money. The barrier now to start is very low, and there are two reasons. Low cost of technology, open source technology, cloud, sensor data is getting cheaper and cheaper. There's also a lower barrier on available data. You have a lot of social media data, you have crowdsourcing possibilities, and you have open data. So the time to invest and start your company, so I really suggest you do, is now. I will be retired very soon, so you have to earn the money. Start your sanctuary, start your pirate island, and start innovate. As uh, my previous speaker said, experimenting is very important because the business case is tough <coughs> and the technology too. So you have to experiment with the technology and you have to experiment with the business case. So in review, in history, we started with a few computers. Now we have a lot. Everything and all are generating data. At first it will all slice structured data. And now it's, most of it is unstructured. Video, uh, speech, sensor data, all kinds of different things. The structured part was internal periodic data. And the, the external data ad hoc uh, is coming up, it's getting stronger. This is the world of managing KPIs, ARP, data warehouse, RDB misses, the business intelligence world. And, and we're entering the world of real-time exploring data with NoSQL system, Hadoop, Spark, Hyper Agile, and sandboxing, experimenting with data. In this world, we had IT systems supporting humans. And we're entering now the world where humans support IT systems to learn. And for me, it is something I had to de-learn. And for you, what will be natural. This is the world of factual truth and indisputed data. Yeah, that's the business intelligence world. And we're going to like, likelihood, perspective, and pure data, and how to deal with that. This is the world where hedgehogs are doing fine. And this is the world of foxes. Yeah, you already saw the clue area. Are you a fox or a hedgehog? A hedgehog know a lot of little things. They're very good at doing predictions. They going about, do a little bit of that, a little bit of that. They don't believe anything, and they go very, but they're very good at it. They're very good at big data. If you look at a hedgehog, they believe in the grand design, and they only do one thing right. They're very bad at doing predictions. And they're very bad at big data. So, I hope you have a nice surf, and you will build all surfing foxes. <laughs>